Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting question from radical algebra. Here we have to evaluate root 9 plus root 6 plus root 3 over root 9 minus root 6 plus root 3 whole power is 8. So let's consider this expression equal to e first. And this bracket, let us call this is x. So we'll be evaluating x power 8 finally. Now I will write x separately. It is square root 9 plus square root 6 plus square root 3 divided by square root 9 minus square root 6 plus square root 3. Now I can factorize our numbers. So square root 9 I can write square root 3 times square root 3 plus square root 6 square root 3 times square root 2 and square root 3 as it is divided by square root 3 times square root 3 minus square root 3 times square root 2 plus square root 3. Now we can take square root 3 common from the numerator and denominator. So we will have in the bracket square root 3 plus square root 2 plus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator it will be square root 3 minus square root 2 plus 1. So we can write root 3 plus 1 plus root 2 and denominator we can write root 3 plus 1 minus root 2. Now I will rationalize. So let me write here x equal to root 3 plus 1 and then I will be writing plus root 2. Denominator is root 3 plus 1 minus root 2. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So root 3 plus 1 plus root 2. So we will multiply in the numerator by the same bracket root 3 plus 1 plus root. Now denominator will become a plus b times a minus b. See this is a, this is b. So denominator I will write the difference of two squares formula root 3 plus 1 whole square minus root 2 square. And numerator is root 3 plus root 2 plus 1 whole square. Let me write here. Denominator is root 3 plus 1 whole square and minus root 2 whole square. And numerator is root 3 plus root 2 plus 1 whole square. This is x. Now a plus b plus c whole square formula in the numerator will be applicable. So formula is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times ab plus bc plus ca. Let us apply. So x will be equal to a square so root 3 square 3 b square root 2 square 2 c square 1 square 1 plus 2 times root 3 times root 2, root 6, root 2 times 1, root 2, 1 times root 3, root 3. In denominator, a plus b whole square formula, so 3, this is a square plus 1 plus 2 root 3 minus 2. Now numerator will give us 6 plus 2 times in bracket root 6 plus root 3 plus root 2 and denominator is 4 minus 2 so 2 plus 2 root 3. Now I can see 2 is common in the denominator 2 is common from the numerator so we will take up it will become 3 plus root 6 plus root 3 
plus root 2. And after taking 2 common in the denominator, it will become 1 plus root 3. Now again we will cancel this 2. So x is converting into the simplified form 3 plus root 6 plus root 3 plus root 2. Let me write 3 plus root 6 plus root 3 plus root 2 and denominator is root 3 plus 1. Again we can consider something common from the numerator. So I will club 3 and root 3 and I will write root 6 and root 2 like this divided by root 3 plus 1. Now from first two term I will take root 3 common. So in bracket I will write root 3 plus 1 and from root 6 and root 2 I will take root 2 common. So in bracket it will be root 3 plus 1. Denominator is also root 3 plus 1. So I can write here root 3 plus 1 is overall common in the numerator. In second bracket root 3 plus root 2 and denominator is root 3 plus 1. So this is our final simplification of x. It will be equal to root 3 plus root 2. Now what is asked now? e equal to x power 8. So x is root 3 plus root 2. Let's find out. So I will write x is equal to root 3 plus root 2. Now we have to find out x power 8. Consider squaring both sides. So power 2, power 2. So I will write x is square will be equal to a plus b whole square formula. So I will write a square plus b square plus 2ab. So this way I will be having x square value. Root and square will be over 3 plus 2 plus 2 times root 6. So x square I will be writing 5 plus 2 root 6. This is x square. Again we will consider squaring both sides. So x square whole square equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 whole square. So LHS will become x power 4 RHS A plus B whole square. Let's apply. So A square plus B square plus 2AB 2 times 5 times 2 root 6. So this is 25. This is 4 times 6, 24. This is 20 times root 6. So x power 4 is converting into 49 plus 20 root 6. 49 plus 20 root 6. Now target expression, it is x power 8. So again we will consider squaring. Let us consider squaring once again. x power 4 whole square equal to 49 plus 20 root 6 whole square. So I will write LHS as these two will be multiplied as per exponential property x power 8. Right hand side it will be 49 square plus 20 root 6 whole square plus 2 times 49 times 20 root 6. Now 49 square it is 2401. Now 20 square is 400, 400 times 6, 2400 plus 98 times 2, 196 and then 10, 1, 0, 1960 root 6. So x power 8, it will be equal to 4801 plus 1960 root 6. 
So let me write our final answer. Expression E equal to x power 8 and then 4801 plus 1960 root 6. This is our final answer for this radical challenge. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself.